Christina from CTV. Um, some documents revealed online earlier today uh, after freedom of information requests point to 11 death threats against Premier Rachel Notley. Um, were you aware of this and how concerning is this for you? And I would love to also get a comment from Premier Kathleen Wynne if she would after. I think it's hard to be a politician in the uh, 21st century and not be aware of uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, hateful and intolerant discourse that goes on, particularly online, and I think it's uh, it's obviously very troubling. And and one hopes that we can continue to have political debate and disagreements as a country uh, without falling into uh, vicious and nasty attacks. Uh, unfortunately, we see, uh, particularly when it comes to women in positions of power, there are still uh, levels of harassment and, and uh, threats of violence and actual sexual violence in far too many workplaces, which is why we need to call this out. We need to continue to stand strongly and firmly against harassment, intimidation uh, and violence in the workplace, in our communities, in our homes. Uh, that's why this government has been uh, so uh, eager to put forward strong legislation and demonstrate that there is zero tolerance for the kind of hateful rhetoric that unfortunately uh, we do see too often, uh, too often around us. Uh, that doesn't represent Canadians. I think Canadians understand uh, that there is a broad range of diversity of backgrounds, but also diversity of opinions that make this country strong. And we should be able to move forward and disagree about the best way to go forward without falling into violence or hate. Well, let me let me just uh, let me just agree with everything that the prime minister has said. You know, it is very disturbing um, the the use of language, the um, the tone of uh, discussion online. And I think that you know, I think social media is fantastic. There are so many good things about the way people can stay connected. But there are real challenges that we have in terms of the the civility or the lack of civility that uh, that we see online and you know um, what what we're dealing with in terms of uh, of what's happening in Alberta is happening everywhere you know and misogyny is a reality that is something that we have to acknowledge and so in in Ontario we have we have tightened our rules we have funded uh, sexual assault and uh, victim services uh, we have made sure that we do a public education campaign. We actually developed a, an ad, a public education um, uh, campaign that has been used all over the country, in fact, to, to make it clear that although we've come a long way, we are certainly not there yet. And as a, as a woman in politics, I can tell you that um, we are not there yet. I can tell you that this is something that we have to be vigilant about and we're going to have to we're going to have to continue to raise our voices because unless we do that the permission that is granted online to uh, to say whatever without uh, without any um, without any boundaries apparently we're going to have to keep, continue to be vigilant if that's going to stop